Hey guys, this is Zebra Girl, and today I'll be starting my new Wattpad series where I get suggestions from you guys for what stories I should read as I will be doing this twice a week, I hope, or once a week or something, I hope. But um, my, f my friend recommended this story and, um, well, it's one of my own. But she did say it was really good and stuff like that. It is it's called Static and Love by MC Fiction. That's what my name is on this WAP on Wattpad. And uh, this is the first chapter and I hope you enjoy. Just to warn you, there will be a few typos, but hopefully I'll get those fixed in the future. Chapter one. My name is Darker Player. Something really bad was going on and you knew it. You checked your Twitter. Nothing had been posted. You checked your Tumblr and no comments had been answered. And all over Facebook, people were asking where Mark Fishbark was. But nothing. He hadn't posted anything. What was going on? You brought up your email, looking at the news, fearing the worst. There was no way that Markiplier was dead. But you saw his family and friends on the news saying that if anyone knows what happens to him, to contact them straight away. Wish I could help. Some, some days had gone by and more and more people were searching for him. There were cops everywhere searching for him. So to calm yourself down, you go onto, you go onto YouTube, even though it's 11 at night. You couldn't sleep anyway. So you sat watching Jacksepticeye for some time. But after, you decide to check Mark channel, Mark's channel one more time to see. To your surprise, there was a video. Yes! Thank goodness! You shouted to yourself. But something was strange. This video wasn't a let's play or an animation, but a black screen called dot dot dot. You thought that was strange, but you clicked on it anyway. The camera was all black until Mark's face slowly crept into view. You got shivers down your spine and your gut was telling you something was wrong, but you kept watching. His eyes weren't the usual brown, but instead the whole eye was black. No colour at all. Maybe some red, but you couldn't see it very well. His face was pale and his hair was all messy. After some seconds... He started to make a very creepy smile, and his glasses reflected off the camera lens. He just stared at you. For a couple of seconds, you thought that you heard a muffled scream. Mark's eyes slowly shifted over to the left, then come back to the centre of the camera. He brought his index finger to his lips, as if to say, Shh. Then the screen started to go static. As the static built up, a creepy voice hissed out. Hello? My name is... <sniffs> Dark Applier. And those were the final words, and the video ended. You looked at the screen in disbelief. Maybe this was some cruel joke for his fans. Plus, it was getting close to Halloween after all. You tried to think that you tried to think that, but something was itching in the back of your head saying that something is wrong. You put your laptop on the floor and crawled into bed for another restless night. You woke up at four AM again, but you got your laptop and decided to check Tumblr. And you messaged Markiplier Mark is a weird guy, he hasn't posted anything in two weeks and now he posts this Weird video. Hashtag Markiplier weird. As soon as she posted posted that, someone replied, What are you talking about? Mark hasn't posted anything. You added. I just saw his dot 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 video on YouTube. She replied. I just checked his page and nothing. Stop making fun of this situation. It's not funny. The girl had to be lying. I quickly signed. I quickly signed into you. Signed into. I quickly signed into YouTube to get to Mark's channel. 
Nothing. You rubbed your eyes. Still nothing. You thought to yourself, Maybe I am crazy. You lie down. I lie down on my bed with my laptop on my belly. You know what you saw. But how can no one else see what you saw? You checked Facebook, Tumblr and Twitter, but nothing. But then your phone vibrated. He could be texting me at this time, you said. You wipe, you swipe to your phone and the text reads, You're the only one who saw it, sweetheart. Stop wasting your time searching. You can't find it. Sender? Unknown. You looked at your phone in, ref- in fear and slowly typed, Who is this? And what are you talking about? Within seconds, you've got a reply. You know who I am, dear. And the video, and the video you're looking for, sender, unknown. It might say unknown, but you could guess who was texting you that text, texting you this. But you've always thought that he that it was just a character that Markiplier made up, but apparently not. What have you done with Mark? You text back. He's fine. He's just taking some time off. You know why I chose you, Molly? Stop fucking kidding with me. How do you know my name and who is this? Ooh, such bad language. I like that. You're quite the popular person on Facebook, Tumblr and Twitter. You know who this is. You're not Dark Player. He doesn't exist. Oh, but I do. But this wasn't a text. It was a whisper into your ear that made your hair stand on end. You looked under the bed. Nothing there. You stood up, leaving your laptop on your bed facing you. What do you want with me? You said, quivering in fear. Shaking so... Shaking so much that you could hear your heartbeat in your ears. I need a good person. Like you. What for? For just some fun. That's all. Please leave me alone. The room started to get very cold. I don't want to leave you alone. I think you're quite entertaining to watch. You swallow in fear. Someone or something was watching you. You felt eyes piercing your soul. Hello, he whispered into your ear. You slowly turned to your bed. You were greeted by the same guy you saw in the video ages ago. My name's Darkplier. He hissed, climbing out of the screen and placing his feet on the floor. He had black eyes with crimson red pupils, with demon horns on his head and black angel wings. He pushed his head back, making his horns disappear and his wings folded into his back, making them disappear too. He then leaned over you, his eyes looking right into your sea blue eyes. What pretty eyes you have, he smiled, then grabbing you by the wrist and pulling you into the screen. Thank you guys for listening to chapter one of Static and Love. I will bring you, I will be bringing you in the next episode this week or next week, and I hope you enjoyed. Zebra girl out. Bye.